we're gonna learn about how to make a comet model from various craft items and activity you could do in the classroom or um, after school, at home on your own, or even as part of a science camp. You're gonna need something to hold your comet with. I suggest some sort of stick. Now, for the nucleus, you need something that will simulate a dirty, misshapen snowball. I'm gonna use a styrofoam ball you can stick your stick into. As the comet nucleus is streaming through space, it is sublimating. It has some gas jets coming off in all different directions. So to make our jets and our nucleus, I have some cotton balls, some fuzzy balls, even some packing material. So I'm gonna dab each one of these in a little bit of glue and stick it on to my nucleus. And then the gas jets, you could make those out of a number of different things. I'm gonna use some yarn. Remember, this comet is outgassing in all different directions. Those gas jets are actually forming the coma of the comet, kind of a cloud. To represent that, I'm gonna use some of this good stuff. And then I'm gonna put bubble wrap on, because I like bubble wrap. Secure that on my stick. We've got the nucleus, we've got the coma, but the most noticeable thing is the tail. The tail that you can see with your unaided eye is the debris tail, but there's another tail, the ion tail, and that ion tail forms on the opposite side of the comet from wherever the sun is. A lot of times, the ion tail will appear blue, so I'm gonna use this blue chenille stick. There we go. So that is my model of a comet. Now yours, of course, will look different. If you have time, you can have your students make more elaborate models of a comet. Then you can assess their knowledge of the comet parts by having them describe what they've used to represent those parts. Hi.